Okay, welcome back for a quick update on the FT8900 head unit remote. So if you didn't see the last video, what I have here is the head of an FT8900, but as you can see that none of the buttons are actually connected. The data lead from that then comes onto a small breakout board here, where I'm feeding the data in from this USB serial converter, logic analyzer there and that's then going into the main body of the radio here. So last time I'd just shown a quick proof of concept. What I've done now is to update it so that I have complete uh, control of the head unit buttons from a PC. So I've replicated the, P uh, the rough layout of the head unit here. We've got the rotary encoders, which should count clockwise and clockwise, uh, and the push actions, and then all of the other buttons, volume control, squelch controls, and so on. So you can see that these behave pretty much exactly as you'd expect. And uh, that includes all of the other buttons and so on. Hyper memory says before. If I just flick the right hand side onto a VFO, then I can uh, increase the squelch until, uh, sorry, increase the squelch until that opens. And similarly, adjust the volume control on that half. just by mimicking the uh, action of the remote encoder. And similarly, I can go into the set mode, move through the various functions on the radio, exactly as if I was using the normal front panel. So the next stage of this is to decode the data going in the other direction. That is the display data coming from the body to the display and be able to show that here on the user interface. Hopefully that'll be up soon.